file that is included that had just a bare, barely, barely, barely thin outline it, that's hard to see. So I, um, I also use Photoshop and everything like that. So I have edited it so that there's, um, the back and front just so it's easier to see when you're on Canva. And then I also added a white outline. Um, and it also says hair clip templates because when you've got it on top of a black back or a white background, it's really hard um, to see it where your own piece is. So um, you would do the same thing is kind of build your backgrounds on top of it. Like let's um, let me move everybody else and everything else. Let me move everybody else down. Okay, so let's say I was going to build um, with this template right now. Let's just, um, you know, grab like glitter or something. Um, now, at the moment, I don't have Canva Pro. I just haven't paid for it recently. Um, but let's like this gold glitter because you'll be able to see that maybe. Um You can still build it on top of the hair clip piece so that as you're building and moving everything, you're not getting hung up and stuck on, well, there's a good one. You're not getting hung up and stuck on always constantly clicking the template itself okay so that's a good star that's good too okay we'll stick that one on there Okay, so let's say that you've built your care clip stuff and whatever. Go back to position again, you know, pull up your template and do the same thing like we did with the black one. Now, the only difference that there is, is you don't have to change the opacity, which is the thing that has a little transparency. Um, you're able to actually just see exactly how it would look printed because it's already whited out instead of just the, instead of, you know, us having to change up to see behind it. Um, you can, <laughs> excuse me. And you can even leave this for when you're printing it, you know, you'd be, you'd be cutting out, the section that says hair clip templates anyway um so you could even leave that for printing or what you do is right before you print you just delete this layer um so like if i were to print this sheet let me oh no hold on uh, come back here i don't want this one so I'm going to get rid of the glitter, the gold glitter so um like let's say i was to print this sheet for sublimation um, I would ungroup that. Okay. I would delete this layer of the black hair clip template because I'm not wanting that part actually printed on my images. And then I could leave this hair clip template or, um, I can duplicate this. And I can use it to see, okay, how is it going to look once it's done? And I can just put it on top here and it's ready to go. So that when I go to, when I print it, you know, I can cut, you know, where it's already whited out 
and then put those on top and we're good to go. Um, I will give these to this edited one to blended customs and see if they want to use it um, as one specifically for people that are using Canva um, just because it's um, easier to see on your Canva as far as a template and to see what it's going to look like. Um, but again, just, just use your, your layers and your position thing to your advantage, um, you know, building it on top of it and then just pulling it all the way to the very front, all the way over to the very top surface. Um, you know, don't forget that you can do stuff, you know, you can rearrange stuff like that. And, um, I can maybe make the white border around it just a little bit bigger so that, you know, um, you're able to have more of a break between, or, you know, if I need to separate them out back, these two here separated more or something like that, I can do that. Um, but just to make things easier on you guys, because I know that, um, Canva is great for, you know, stuff like this, but it's just a little diff more difficult than some of the other, um, you know, like designing programs that some of us are using as far as like, you know, um, Photoshop and uh, Adobe Illustrator and everything like that, um, where you you have a little less control of certain things as far as these templates go. So um, hopefully that helps you. And um, if you have any other questions, just let me know in the Facebook group. Um, and if I need to do another video or, you know, do something else differently or whatever, just let me know. Thank you.